Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here. Quantum Break, the continuation of our collectibles guide. This is the last act, act five. Here are all my choices. In junction four, I picked surrender, although I don't think this choice has any impact on collectibles at all. Inside the lobby of the Monarch headquarters, after taking out some enemies, you'll find a radio on the desk before proceeding. After getting this door to unlock, as we enter directly in front of us, we'll notice that there is a directory next to the escalator. Make sure you interact with it to get narrative object number two. Now there's also a Chronon source in this area. I do interact with the television just to make sure it doesn't count for anything and to show you guys that it's interactable in case you want to hear a little bit of backstory about some of the stuff going on in the building. But again, the collectible is the Chronon source which is found next to these toilets slash, I don't even know what, yeah, this is a washroom of some sort it looks like. Now we're going to make our way up that escalator and there is our first of four intel items in this part of the game as well as two different narrative objects. I'm just showing you quickly that I did take out the enemies in order to be able to pick these up. So there's a monarch radio note which is one out of four intel. We will unlock all intel items in this chapter so that's an achievement to look forward to. As well as this email on this computer here and Right next to that, we can find, bam, a tablet, which does have yet another email. Upon exiting the elevator, we'll notice that there's a collectible narrative object to our left-hand side near the couch. We're now inside a large office area. I have taken out a large amount of enemies, and once we do that, we can find a laptop computer here. Or a desktop, it might be a desktop, what the hell, what, what do I know? Uh, so we're gonna interact with that laptop actually for some reason, it's right next to a desktop. The email title is HOLY SHIT! And from then on there, before proceeding, there's actually a pretty well hidden collectible here in the very back of this room. It's a kind of large poster board on top of this uh, kind of chalkboard or blackboard, fabric board. Uh, just make sure you look it up. From then on there, we'll come to this hallway where time looks to be frozen and just inside of the first office to our right hand side as we enter, we'll find a Chronon source. Make sure you pick that up. In that same office, we can find two narrative objects. So just make sure you pick up both of them. There's two computers, one's a laptop, one's a desktop interact with both of them. One is clearly an object and then one is one of the ones where you have to hold Y after using time vision. So I didn't think it was a collectible but it definitely is so make sure you pick that one up as well. Now from then on there we can find Intel number two just down the hall on the computer desk in front of us. It's a lap, it's a, uh, it's, what is it? It's a paperweight with a note. Pick that up and then just follow the desks to the left hand side here uh, on the wall and you'll find yet another narrative object. Upon gaining access to Paul Serene's office, you'll find one object to the left hand side in the first room and then upon entering the next room you'll trigger a cinematic. Right after that cinematic, make sure you interact with the laptop directly next to you. From that laptop, we'll just kind of do a sweeping motion in, in a circle around the room. So staying upstairs, go to the right hand side, you'll notice narrative object 13 of 18 on this kind of tilted bookshelf. From then on there, we can get intel number three, which is on this kind of bed stand right next to a bed, or nightstand rather, next to a bed. And right next to that, right behind it, next to this painting, you can't see it for some reason. It might be glitched in the wall or I don't know what it is, but there's actually a Chronon source glowing right there. Make sure you pick that up. That is your third Chronon source of this mission. And then make your way downstairs and you'll see this large assortment of like a semicircle of whiteboards. In the middle of that, you can find a laptop to interact with for narrative object number 14. From that laptop, 
We'll turn around and follow our objective down the stairs underneath where the bed was and directly in front of us, instead of turning, go into the office to find another computer. Dr. Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but... Me too. We're reaching the end of the level, and in this one area, it looks like a laboratory. Before we go to the countermeasure slash CFR, you'll be able to pick up four total collectibles. There are three laptops, actually two laptops and a document, I think. So that makes 16, 17, and 18 to wrap up this part. And then we find Intel item number 404. This also happens to be the very last Intel item of the game. So if you've been following along, you will unlock a separate achievement for finding all Intel. Help yourself, Joyce. Act 5, Part 2, Chronon Source number 1 of 5. Instead of proceeding towards okay. our objective, which is a cargo elevator, Make sure you go up the ramp and grab Cronon Source number one of five. So the game does have an achievement for killing 15 enemies using explosions. There is a really good spot in this mission between the last collectible and this one. So make sure you check out my video if you're interested in getting that. Once you come outside, you'll notice that time is frozen and there's a forklift with the giant countermeasure casing around it. Go up, climb up top, and you'll notice that you can find a Cronon Source. Then inside the parking garage, once you open up the door and defeat all the enemies, you'll see a, an article right in front of you, but that's actually collectible from earlier on in the game, so you don't need to pick that up. Instead, pick up the Cronon Source to the right-hand side, number three of five. You'll come to a room with a large CFR, which is the Cronon Field Regulator thing that stops you from using your time powers. You'll interact with the circuit board to turn off all the lights and defeat all the enemies. Right next to that uh, switch, you can find the only narrative object in this mission. Later on in the mission, you will climb up a crane, and when you're about halfway up the crane and evenly in height with the library roof, uh, stop and make sure you pick up the Cronon Source next to the railing. Cronon source number five of five inside of the library area. When you're following Will, make sure you pick it up in the distant corner from where you enter and exit the room. At the start of Act 5, Part 3, right from the beginning, go behind your taxi car to notice the Cronon source. So Will's going to talk about the door and try to make you help him get through it. Before that, we're going to get our last narrative object of the game. Hopefully, if you've been following along, along, unlocking an achievement. Upstairs, you can find a radio. Make sure to interact with it. And there you go. Eventually, Will will unlock a white door in order to let you progress through the mission. Go through that white door, follow along towards the swimming pool. Before going into the swimming pool area, make sure you take a right-hand turn. And behind this door that is locked by a bookcase, you can find your last Cronon Source. If you've been following along and have all 60 Cronon Sources available in the game, you should be able to now open up your upgrades menu and buy every single upgrade, unlocking that achievement as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my Quantum Break collectible series. An immense shout out to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show and letting me make these types of videos. Special shout out to Heron Giggles as well. If you're interested in supporting the show and becoming a patron, please check out my Patreon page on patreon.com slash maca91productions. Feel free to leave a like, that does help out a lot. Make sure to share a video with a friend that also helps immensely. Hopefully I see you guys in my future videos. Peace!